Hi everyone, welcome back to Operations Research. This is our first course. We're talking about models and applications. So after all those studies, all those lectures about modeling techniques, today we will have a very special lecture. We will talk about a case study, which is a project that I did in the past. So that project is about call center, uh, call center personnel scheduling. So we're going to show you in the whole lecture about how we started this project, what are the details, and how we use modeling techniques to help a company making decisions. So very quickly, we will go through why do we want to do this research? Uh, what's the point of doing this research? what's the problem, how do we model it, and what's the result we obtain. So pretty much this is a very typical way to present your research work, to present what you have done with the project, to let everybody know um, how, how good the result of your project is. We always go from the motivation, the story, and then how do we describe the problem in details, how do we use the model, and uh, what's the outcome of that. So hopefully, through this case study. First, you get an idea about how operations research is really applied in practice. And the second, what's the way of constructing a work and presenting a work. So this work is about the so-called CSR scheduling. CSR stands for Customer Service Representatives. Uh, probably this is not the way for all the companies to call their um, type one type of workers. But anyway, in the company that uh, collaborate we, we collaborated with us, so there is a call center. That company hires 30, 40 persons to work in that call centers. Those call center workers are called customer service representatives and they take terms to answer forms to serve customers. Okay, so pretty much that company is an insurance company. So you buy insurance from the company. Sometimes you need to call the company to clarify some terms. Sometimes you need to call the company to ask for uh, help and so on. So this CSR, they are going to help you by answering your phones, telling you some issues, uh, handling some issues from you and so on and so on. So as a very typical call center, there are some desired service level defining, defined on, uh, for example, response rate. Uh, just let's take just one very simple example. Suppose that you are talking about a call center, then calls would come in, all right? And you have a call center, so you have 30 persons, 40 persons there. They take, uh, they answer the phone calls. But it's always the case that it's possible that when you call a call center, no one is able to respond to you because everybody is busy, right? That's possible. So after you hear the rings for the music for 10, min 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you decide to, um, to, to give up. And as a call center, certainly we don't want too many customers to give up. They, we always want to answer 100% of the phone calls, but that's also not, not possible. So maybe we hope that we are able to answer 95% of customers' incoming calls, and only less than 5% they gave up, they give up before they get answered. We want to have more persons so that this ratio would go up, but that takes some cost. So we're not going to hire too many persons in some sense. So the company has did some studies to regarding service levels. So historical incoming calls have been analyzed to calculate the ideal number of CSRs. Oh, so there's no such key. The ideal number of CSRs in each time period. So based on historical data, based on experience, the company knows, for example, Monday morning is a busy time. So why is that? You may, may, you may see that this company's uh, um, call center, they open only on, from Monday to Friday. So on Saturday and Sunday, uh, you are not able to find any CSR to help you. So naturally, if there are some issues happened, uh, happened on Sunday and Saturday, they will call you at Monday. So if that's the case, it's natural that on Monday, you have more CSR uh, demand. So you may see this um, 40, 
30 is typically larger than other days. You also see that for mornings, it's somewhat more busy than in the evening. So that may be somewhat interesting or surprising to some of you. Because if you want to make a call to call centers, I guess you also agree that during the morning times, you need to go to work, you need to go to class, probably you don't have time, and maybe you will be more willing to make a call in the afternoon, right? But according to the historical data, the company actually only requires fewer persons to be on duty for evenings. Why is that? Well, that also makes sense. Because if you make a call, then there is a time duration before you give up. And typically, that number of seconds before you give up is longer in the evening. All right? So in some sense, in the evening, you are more patient. In the morning, you are more busy. You only have a 10 minutes break. You want to make a call. If the call asks you to wait for 30 seconds, you give up. But if this is the evening, you don't have a lot of time, a lot of things to do. So you probably will wait for one minute, two minutes. That's also fine. Because customers are more impatient in the morning. So that's why in the morning, you need more CSRs. That makes sense. So anyway, the company has compiled this table. And hopefully that they may schedule their workers so that in each period, the number of persons on duty is at least that desired amount.